giving access of your computer to your tech team support or IT team you need a third party software in WAN environment I mean to say in wide area network if your tech team support is some other country or in other city and you and your system is far away from there so you can use a third party software I will recommend you to install TeamViewer it supports a lot of different computers along with different nodes you can connect your different electronic devices through TeamViewer for installing and downloading TeamViewer you need to go to your search engine your browser first and then search for a team viewer after search you will need to proceed to the first result This will lead you to the official site of uh, TeamViewer. From there you can download the TeamViewer setup in your different electronic devices including Microsoft, Linux and Macintosh. By proceeding to the features panel you will find the TeamViewer new version nowadays it's TeamViewer 14 click on TeamViewer 14 there you will get a free setup of a TeamViewer which you can use uh, for non-commercial non -commercial or as a private user click on the download button to download the setup this will automatically install download setup from TeamViewer site. when the download is complete you need to simply click on the setup to install TeamViewer in your computer when the setup begins it will ask you what is the use of your team uh, what is the use of TeamViewer you want and how if you want to install the setup of TeamViewer I will recommend you to install a basic installation by clicking on the radio button while using and the pur uh, giving the uh, purpose of your use of TeamViewer I will recommend you to use to click on radio button for personal and non-commercial use click on accept and finish This will take a while to install TeamViewer in your computer. when the setup install you just simply need to click on TeamViewer icon to execute TeamViewer software
after running the Teamverse you will see a quick demonstration and tips regarding TeamViewer software there you will see your ID and password has been assigned to your computer for giving access of your system you can simply provide your system ID and password to you to the person or the your tech team you want to give permission to your PC for solving your issues regarding operating system or any other software you can also click on third tab there you will see an email and password if you carry any username and password of teamware you can simply put it and you can sign in to access your points if you don't have any account in teamware I will suggest you to sign up I have logged in teamware because I have a username and password my at the present time my two other nodes are offline while the this PC is online that's why it's showing an active screen on teamviewer list if you don't have any email sign up in teamviewer you can simply provide your ID and password to the person you want to allow to access your PC